During the Clone Wars, a string of very high profile Republic Senators were assassinated in very suspicious circumstances, all in very similar ways. After hearing of this, the Jedi Council were able to determine that a branch of the Coruscant Underworld Mafia were involved, but knew that they could not be acting alone. This caused Master Yoda to dispatch General Quinlan Voss to infiltrate their organization to find out who was pulling the strings and giving them the orders to carry out these assassinations. So I'm going to break down how Quinlan Voss joined the Coruscant Mafia and almost uncovered Palpatine's hitman serial murder spree. Before we dive into it, make sure you're subscribed to be notified as soon as I release more awesome Star Wars lore content. The story begins on a dark and dirty street of the Coruscant underworld, where Quinlan Voss emerges out of a disgusting manhole from the sewers below. As Quinlan exits the noxious sewers, he bumps shoulders with some of Coruscant's most dodgy and rough figures, each of them calling him names and hurling abuse at him, but he simply shrugs it off and continues on his path. Quinlan Voss then literally walks for hours, all the way from the lower levels of Coruscant up to the grand steps of the Jedi Temple, still dripping with filth from the sewer he just came out of. Eventually, Quinlan Voss makes his way to Yoda's quarters inside of the temple before Master Yoda hilariously tells him, Quinlan Voss, quite horrible you look, and worse you smell. Voss then tells Master Yoda that trudging through the sewers for the past week was no picnic, and Master Yoda quickly moves to ask him if his mission was a success, given how filthy it has made him. Voss gives him a pretty vague answer, telling him that he discovered that a wing of the Coruscant Mafia named the Red Hand, who were the lowest, vilest criminal class on Coruscant, were responsible for the recent assassinations on the Senators. Voss then goes on to tell Master Yoda that the group are led by the deadly Ayo Moroda and have been using the underground sewers of Coruscant's lowest levels as a base of operations. Master Yoda realizes that this gives their group access to the entire city without being seen or heard, something that could even pose a threat to the Jedi Order. Quinlan Voss then tells Master Yoda that he did manage to infiltrate their organization to find out who was really pulling the strings behind the assassinations and that he was so close to finding out too but unfortunately, his mission ended quite shockingly. Following this, we cut straight to a flashback, right after Quinlan Voss has been exposed as a spy for the Jedi Order and has been put on trial for his treason against the Coruscant Mafia. Importantly to them, Quinlan Voss has broken the Code of the Streets, which all of Coruscant's underground gangs follow in order to keep their organizations running orderly without sparking any gang wars. Yeah, pretty hilarious considering they are literally criminal syndicates. Deception and treason are some of the most disgraceful actions under the code of the streets, which Quinlan Voss has of course violated. Ayo Moroda is incredibly angry at Quinlan Voss because he pretended to come to the group with nowhere to go and claimed that he was expelled from the Jedi Order. After hearing this, the group gave him a home and put their total trust in him, unfortunately all based on a lie. They somehow discovered that Master Yoda had sent Quinlan Voss on this mission to gather information on them. Quinlan Voss just laughs at Ayo's anger, asking, let me get this straight, Ayo. The lowest, vilest criminal class on Coruscant is judging me because I lied? Ayo fires back, saying, This trial is about a betrayal of trust, Jedi scum. Quinlan Voss then savagely makes fun of her for being so sensitive and shreds her to pieces for living in a sewer. Ayo, however, is not having any more of this, demanding that Voss be quiet before bringing out the judges, if you can call them that, to determine what his punishment should be after determining that he was guilty of treachery. The 100% totally fair and definitely not biased judges from a variety of different species all shout out death to Quinlan Voss. This paints a smirk on Ayo's face before she violently calls for her brutish executioners to approach Quinlan Voss and bring him to death. As the executioners surround Voss, he hilariously tries to reason with them, reminding them of the good times they had together while they thought he was still a real member of the gang. The leader of the group then orders his men to tear Quinlan apart, but he immediately ignites his green lightsaber, slicing each of the weapons of the executioners in half in quick succession before slaughtering them moments later. Yeah, Quinlan has always had that slightly darker side, which you'll know if you've read some of his other comics. As Quinlan Voss does this, Ayo Moroda is furious, demanding to know why her henchman didn't take Voss's lightsaber away from him earlier. The idiotic henchman somehow forgot to do one of the most important things, absolutely angering Ayo and causing her to put him on the kill list right after Voss's execution is complete. A few more members of the gang charge at Voss, but he of course has no issue dealing with them before facing a flurry of blaster fire from behind. Yet another idiotic henchman walks up to the long-haired Jedi and excitedly exclaims, I got him, I got him but he is instantly thrown down into the deep sewers below as Quinlan manages to leap through the air onto a nearby platform. 
As he continues rushing through the sewer systems, he encounters yet another group from the gang, this time on their bikes, firing another burst of bolts at him. These guys are once again absolutely useless, with Quinlan gracefully leaping over the top of them and slicing their rides into two pieces. As large blasts ring out behind Quinlan, he begins sprinting away from the scene, climbing ladders and running in various directions, until eventually he loses his bearings and is lost in the sewers. Ayo and her remaining crew do eventually spot Quinlan on their security cameras before personally leading the charge to chase him down and capture him. As Quinlan is running, a blast detonator is thrown right at him, eerily beeping before erupting into a ball of flames, sending him flying through the air. Ayo then orders the men to chase him down and find his body, believing that he is dead. But of course, the Jedi is very crafty and is hiding under the disgusting green coloured sewer water. I feel bad for Quinlan Voss having to literally have that disgusting sewer water on his face. Voss then reveals himself to the henchmen, but he very quickly takes them all down with his lightsaber, scaring Ayo to death, leading her to run in horror away from the scene. Unfortunately for her, she takes a wrong turn while running and comes to the edge of the sewer fall, being cornered by Quinlan Voss. The criminal leader then fires her blaster at Voss, but he swiftly deflects each bolt back at her before slicing her blaster in half and defeating her. Following her defeat, Quinlan furiously demands to know who hired her to kill the senators. In response to this, she angrily tells Quinlan that the Jedi are so self-righteous that it makes them blind. By extension, Quinlan Voss has no idea that this whole situation is much larger than him, and he is already lost. Finally, she says that she might be low-life scum to him, but at least she knows when she's lost before saying goodbye Quinlan Voss, and throwing herself down the sewer fall, a shockingly large distance down to her death. Quinlan Voss is shocked by this, calling out to her, but there is nothing he can do. She is already falling far too quickly for him to stop her now. Quinlan Voss reaches out with the force in horror, but his grip is met by empty space. Finally, the Jedi Master sighs, knowing that her death is now certain. This then rips Quinlan Voss right back into the present time, where he asks Master Yoda what evil could possibly command such loyalty that would make Ao take her own life. Master Yoda then corrects Quinlan Voss, telling him that it was not loyalty that made her jump to her death, but instead, fear. Master Yoda then adds that fear can make one who lives below a slave to the one living in the highest tower. Following this, we cut straight to Palpatine's office, where Masamita informs him that Ao Moroda and the Red Hand Mafia have been wiped out by Quinlan Voss. And to end the story, a sinister smile washes across Palpatine's face as he says, Good. Their usefulness has come to an end. I knew Quinlan Voss would serve a good purpose. Very good indeed. Palpatine is really showing his pure evil here. He just used the Red Hand Mafia to wipe out many of his political enemies before wiping them out too to hide any trace of his involvement. Thanks so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers guys. Hope to see you in the next one.